I guess my love of fashion came from television, film in the 70s. I just remember Charlie's Angels blowing my mind. These were three women. You never saw their husbands. You just saw them out fighting crime in amazing high-waisted, <laughs> wide leg, bell-bottom jeans and tight blazers. There was just something about that style that resonated with me. It was just, it was youthful, it was fun, it was strong, it was tough. I have a list of like a hundred designers that I'm constantly searching on eBay and cherry picking these really special one of a kind pieces. And sometimes they'll never work for me, but it's a secret passion to find the person that it belongs to. So I'll go around the office and I'll find the person that the gold metallic jumpsuit actually belongs to. I've never really been a conservative dresser. My signatures are wide leg pants, vintage denim, a little bit of leopard, crazy faux fur coats and vintage dresses. I love going to flea markets and I love going to Broomfield, which is a flea market in Massachusetts, and it's football fields of clothes, housewares, furniture, carpets. I look for the things that speak to me. When we bought this apartment, I wanted it to be really, really simple because I wanted the things that we brought in to give it personality and character and help it to find itself. I also think that for your house, it's, it's never finished. Your style is never complete. Your closet is never perfect. It's like it's always a, a work in progress and changing because you're always changing.